Hey guys! If you are watching the replay, throw me a hashtag replay so I can say thanks for watching. This is making me feel incredibly tan right now. Um, obviously, I put on some white makeup just to start and let me say after using uni for so long, this feels really gross on my skin. So let's, um, first of all, I'm going to share this really quick. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because, you know. I don't want to make you guys sit here and wait while I really quickly do this. So share, work, please. You guys, the struggle. The a struggle. Okay. Um, so tonight we are doing a look, obviously for Halloween. And it is... Um, what? I'm going to do a half and half Maleficent, the old and the new. What? So we're going to do half um, the... Half the old, half the new, so we're going to have half the green and half the white and tablet froze. It's old, I'm sorry. Um, I'm probably going to zoom you guys in so you can see better too in a second. But I do want to show you guys the picture I'm working with. Now I need to get that to load. Yeah, no. If you would just cooperate with me, that would be awesome. This is what happens when you're using an old broken tablet as a... Um, Oh, so almost dead. <laughs> That's helpful. Okay. So this is the I want it. I clicked the picture. Thank you. Okay, so this is the picture we are working with. Let me find where my light is shining. There we go. So we are gonna do the Angelina Jolie white with the black contour, and then on the other side we're gonna do full on green. It doesn't look like she has any um contour or anything, but we're gonna see if we can uh get that green to go right. So that's the first thing we're gonna do because I uh, want to make sure we get the lines straight so that way I can fix them up if I need to before I start working on the other side. Okay, so I am going to use um, Inconceivable. We're going to see how well this green shows up. I cleaned off my brushes so that way I'm not getting anything in my eyeshadow, but I am like super paranoid about this, you guys. Let's see how well this works. Ready? We're just going in. Well, that might not be green enough. I might have to do a little bit darker. Let's see. We might have to mix in a little bit of... This is like a green blue called Cynical. My kids are playing with the balloon right now, you guys. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's going to get it a little bit darker. And then we'll go over it with the shimmery green. All right. Oh, yeah. This is the color I've always wanted in my face. And like this white powder or this white cream foundation that I used, you guys, oh my gosh, it was like so, it's so sticky. It like feels gross on my skin. Oh, okay. We're going to try to do just half. So let's see how well we can do just half. If you are watching, say hey. And if you could do me an awesome favor and hit that share button so all your friends can see this magic happening. Oh yeah. So we're just kind of mixing the darker and the lighter together. It is like, oh baby. It almost reminds me of like the Wicked Witch a little bit too. <laughs> oh you guys. It's a good thing these are greens that I don't use very often because I'm probably going to be using up a lot of them to do this look. Yeah. Oh yeah. I see the green coming together. I'm trying to make sure the line is nice and straight. Actually, I'll just do this. The other side of my powder concealer brush. I'm just getting half here. <sighs> like my hair sticking in it too. Oh yeah, nice and green. Look at that green. Oh, I forgot to zoom you guys in. I got distracted. Okay. 
I think that line is pretty straight. It's not gonna be very straight on my nose, but I kind of want to have that contour like on my nose on the other side popping a little bit more for when we do the Angelina Jolie Maleficent side. I'm trying to blend the green into my hairline a little bit. What do you think, babe? Would you go out in public with me? I don't. Same television. Oh. <laughs> Those are biting words right now. Okay. What are they fighting about now? Um. Uh, everything. That is what they always do. You guys like my like Maleficent horns up top there? I remember in middle school, everyone always used to put their hair up like this because we were the Rockford Rams and these like made little ram horns. So that's instinctively why I thought of that for the look. Okay. Do not knock over the eyeshadow. I have to put this somewhere. Okay. I think we're good on the green side. I tried to make my shirt, like her shirt and picture too. Um, and now we're going to go in with the black. And start the contour side. All right. I am going to clean off my brush first because... I don't want to mix in, you know, my bronzer or my darker contour color with the black while we're doing this. I'm going to see how well this blends out. All right. So she has got, like, super sharp angles. So let's... Oh, come on. It's not recognizing my face. That's pretty sad. So she's got some, like, super sharp angles on there. So we're going to try to... It doesn't look like she has much for her nose, but she does like on the bottom and a little bit on the side. So we're going to do that a little bit. Because this face, paint stuff on my face feels like it's melting off my face. Hi, kitty cat. <laughs> I hope you guys just heard that. My cat just hissed at me. You coming closer? You a little scared? So we're going to slowly build it up. She's got, oh, it's like a, a super deep contour, like black and white. Very, uh, whew. It's like trying to make the cheekbone look like it sticks out. I mean, not a look I would normally go for. But then again, I'm not always an evil villain. Not always. Unless you ask my kids. Okay. For the nose. Like I said, it looks like it's just, like the bottom of the nose is carved out a lot. So we're just going to use the blending brush. And I'm actually going to flatten it like this. It looks like it just carved out a little bit on the bottom like that. He totally changed my Halloween playlist, so it's not playing Halloween playlist anymore. It's so mean. Yep. And then I also, she's got it, like, because it's Angelina Jolie and she's got those, those lips, the Angelina Jolie lips. She's got her lips. Carved out pretty well right in here. Okay. All right. I'm letting it sit on this side for a second before I try to blend it because I know that it's just going to start pulling off some of the white. So I'm going to let it sit for a second. And then let's go to the brows while we're waiting. The brows are pretty dang dark on both of them. But like, whoa. No, let me see. Actually, Angelina Jolie's brows aren't very, like, super dark and defined, but, I mean, old school Maleficent is, like, hardcore dark and super lined out. So we're going to do that one first. I think I'm just going to go right with, um, I don't think this is going to be dark enough. No. We're going to just use the black eyeshadow, Okay. 
and I just cleaned all these brushes off. So they should be very um, sharp and defined and ready for us. Hey guys, if you have found, say hey. Say what's up. Man, this is like, my face feels like it's melting off already. She's got like super arched, super deep, and just flat black. It doesn't look like there's much definition to them, so we're just going to go straight black, lining them, and we're just going to carry this arch up a little bit. Yeah, that looks about right. She's got, man, she's got arches on those brows. Like the evil arch. That's when you know they're evil. Their brows arch up super high. Oh, yeah. I feel like the longer it sits, it is helping with that green popping and getting that black to stick in a little bit more so we can blend it out in a minute. I'm nervous to blend it. I wonder how well the white is going to stay on. Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. I forgot to mute my phone. The heck is texting me? Hold on. Do not disturb. There we go. Sorry, guys. I usually do that right away, but um, I was not... Planning on going live right now, but my husband said he wanted to see it before he left for hockey. So, and he also wanted to see me scare the kids with it. Yeah, that's creepy and evil. Okay. The other side is a little bit softer. I'm thinking I might do gray, more gray on that one instead of black. Yeah, we're going to try the gray on that side. But I am going to try to... Blend this down just a little now that it's sat and see how well it blends. I'm like nervous it's going to completely blend off. Oh, it's not coming off too well. That's good. I was afraid it was just going to take off all the white makeup around it when I blended it. really hard to blend around the nose though. Um, let's see. I think that's, she really just has like that deep contour right in the cheekbone. A little bit on the nose. I mean the rest is kind of covered up by the uh, weird horn thing going on up top. But I don't know. Her jawline is pretty. We're gonna, we'll do the jawline a little. It looks like her jawline is like super defined too. So we're gonna just do. We'll define that jaw just a little bit more. There we go. This is really weird to do, you guys. I'm not used to using black. I mean, I usually do a pretty deep contour, but. This is taking it to another level. All right, so we're going to use, I wasn't planning on using anything other than that max. Hold on. One, six, four, two, there we go. So I think for the brows, we're gonna use more of a gray color. Let's see. That one's still pretty black, let's see. I'm kind of test, testing them on my hand a second. Let's see. Here, let's see how this does. And hers are kind of just like... Yeah, hers just look like brows, but really dark brows. So we're just going to do, do the gray and kind of fill them. Like 
everywhere my hand touches on my face, it comes away. It's so white. I'm getting white all over my hand now. I might have to touch up some of the white. It's like messing with my lights too. Just super like slightly gray black brows. Yes. Okay. Dang it, I like touched a spot on my face. Hold on, where's that keyboard? <laughs> I touched part of it with black, but I wasn't supposed to. Here we go. All right, now for the eyes. The eyes are pretty simple for the Angelina Jolie sign. Just like a smoky, smoky black eye there. And then the other side is going to be a little crazier. Of course. What would you expect from the cartoon? So we are going to... Creepy kids down there. They're like laughing hysterically about something. And it's almost terrifying to know what they're laughing at. Okay. Let's see here. It looks like she's got like a weird black line that goes through her brows too. Or through her eye. On the cartoon side that kind of like matches the way her brows go we're gonna attempt that but I make no promises because I'm pretty sure that my black pencil is in need of sharpening oh it's actually halfway decent so it looks like it's just going I don't want to touch my face like going along the eye and then I'm gonna fix this up with concealer in a minute but I do want the line first my pencil is slowly dying you guys and I cannot find my sharpener anywhere I blame the kids blame the kids for everything guys that's what you do when you become mom you blame the kids you're late for something? Blame the kids. Probably be easier if I didn't have hooded eyes. Maleficent's got some crazy eyelids. So, like if I hold my eye up, it looks right, and then I let go, and then it just goes away. <laughs> it's a magic trick. Okay. What has she got going on for color-wise, though? This is like... I've looked through so many pictures, I cannot figure out what her eyeshadow looks like. It's like a weird... I don't even know. So we're just going to do... It almost looks like a purpley gray. So we're going to go with that. Um, I almost don't think... I'm, I'm gonna, I don't think I need to pop concealer on it. I think the line stayed pretty well. So we're going to go with it. Um, let's see... I think that color should work. So we are gonna take first, we're gonna take Crafty, yes. And it's gonna be the whole up part. So it's gonna be like this, all the way up, and then it arches out on this side. Yes, okay, a nice, actually, I'm gonna use my eyeliner brush for this. It's like a nice line like that. There we go. Make a line so I know exactly where to go. And I want to keep this like super purple so I'm just gonna like dab it in instead of blending it out because it is it's purple. I actually might I might throw a little ambiguous over top, which is a super purple too, but it's got some glitter to it. We're going to glitter up our cartoon character a little because it would totally not be Halloween if we didn't add some glitter to it. Yes. There we go.
I'm like, I don't want to touch my face, so it's making it really hard to control. Super purple. I'm gonna fill in the edge a little with this smaller brush. There we go. Okay. And that other color. Yeah, it looks like I keep going back and forth. I feel like it's a gray. I'm gonna pop just a little bit of this ambiguous over top though, because I like the glitter look. Yeah, that's so much better. Get some glitter on there. Hi, Piper. Just turning myself into Maleficent here. Oh, yeah. I love the glitter even more. Okay. Let's see. I do think it's the more of a gray. Let's see. Where is my... I cleaned everything off beforehand, but I'm double-checking everything now. It is very... It's got, like, a slight... A slight purple tone to it. So I'm going to take a little bit. Uh, yeah, just a tiny bit. I'm just going to use this trusting right here. It's just a shimmery purple. I'm just popping a little bit of that over top of the gray I put on. And that um, gray is just a matte. It's called Pessimistic. So just a nice light gray. And then a little bit more of that. They keep blowing up a bloom and then letting it go. That's what they're freaking out about. Suck dorks. Whatever amuses them, right? I do, I want to sharpen up the black line now. I think I'll just take... I don't really want to use a dip and drop because I have that hooded eye. As soon as I like let my eye go, that is going to be everywhere. I think I'm going to try... The black eyeshadow. Just darken it up a little bit more. There we go. Okay. I'm like losing some of the green. I'm touching my face. Add a little bit more green back in there. Okay. Besides the lip, I think we're almost done with this side. Well, no, it looks like she's got some pretty dark black eyeliner on. So we're going to just throw on the dip and draw, but I'm just going to put that right around my lashes. Yes. Yeah, she's got some pretty thick black eyeliner on. Yes, just, she's got some really thick black eyeliner there. This reminds me of my high school days. The thicker you get the eyeliner, the better. Oh yeah, I'm feeling super Maleficent-y. She's got like a turtleneck on that's like this though. She's got like a full on like mask that completely covers her neck and everything. That's how she keeps her face so defined looking. Okay, back to Angelina Jolie side. 
and we are going to do the really, it's really light and it's not very black, it's almost gray. So we're definitely gonna blend it out a lot. And I'm just gonna use my crease brush and it's just like, blended, I don't know. It doesn't look like there's much, it doesn't look like there's much to it. It looks very, just, Black. Black and blended out. So where's my blending brush? I'm like nervous to blend it though because I do lose some of that white when I blend. And she's got it like smoked out on the bottom too. So I think we'll smoke out. It just it doesn't look like she really has eyeliner on. Which is weird. You would think she would have on some deep eyeliner too. Just like a simple. <laughs> well, you're welcome. I'm glad I could relax you while you should be working. I remember those days though. You should be editing pictures and, oh my gosh, editing pictures. Oh. I don't miss those days. I mean, I do, but I don't. I love playing around and Photoshop and stuff, but you're editing a wedding, you kind of get sick of the people after a while. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, babe. I just have to do my lips, I think. Well, and mascara. Okay? I know you have to leave for hockey soon. I haven't been paying attention to time. I'm sorry. 15. I gotta go now. Okay. Well, go ahead and go. I love you. Okay, so I'm just taking our liner shader brush now, and I am just popping... Um, some of that black under, it looks like it's smoked out underneath a little. It almost looks like there's more black under her eye. Oh, and a little bit of green in there. Either though it's just the camera that I have on my phone. So a little bit of black under there. I don't know. I don't know what they doing in this picture. Okay. I think just the lips. What are you doing? My makeup. Don't I look like, do you remember the bad guy in Sleeping Beauty? Does you that look do like her? that? Yeah. Okay, please don't blow your balloon in here. Take it downstairs. Because the fan is going to pop it. Oh, yeah, the fan might pop it, and you also might pop it right in my ear. So take it downstairs, please. Please. <laughs> I said please. I like keep losing the green in warm spot. Ooh. Okay. We're just going to do the lips and we are done. Both lips are pretty dang simple. Mine is the cartoon black that's around on this side. I'm not doing that. We're going to keep it. I like this one the best. Okay. Can you go downstairs now? We're going to keep it pretty simple and we're just going to go for red. You can make the, like, the same thing like that. Okay. Hey, it's head downstairs, guys. I'll be down in just a minute. Who are you? Shh. Who am I? Yeah. I'm the scary bedtime monster, and if you don't go to bed, you're going to get in trouble. <laughs> they just laugh at me. All right. Honey. I'm not asking you again to not have that in here, please. Oy vey. Okay. So I'm lining my lips. I almost did a black flip. Because I want to have the super... I want to do that wall. I from Ah, not in my bed, please. Who cries? Not in mom's room. Out, please. Stop ball. Hi. Nobody can see you. No one can see me? You're not close enough. You have to see, be able to see yourself on there. Let hi. Me see. Are you doing like a scarecrow or something? Honey. Hi! Can you say hi? Okay, all of you. Out. Oh, everyone out. Go get ready for bed. Hi! Okay, you guys are too loud and noisy. Are you doing Go get ready for bed now. For Halloween? Yep. No, I thought I would just do this every day from now on. Why? <laughs> oh, goodness.
Okay. Okay. Super red outline. And then oh, I had it sitting here. I was like, oh. okay. Um, do not forget that there is a deal going on on the website that ends tonight at midnight. And if you want to get one thing, just one thing only, I'm going to recommend you get lip powders because I, I just love these and I always forget about them and I shouldn't. Um, powder turns into a cream. And they're so moisturizing. I think both sides were actually easier than I initially thought they were going to be. Because I originally thought that I was going to need like a whole lot of black contour on the side and hers is actually very like located in just the cheekbone. Besides painting myself green on one side, that is not something I would normally do. Okay. Hi Rose! Everyone's looking at me crazy. Okay, you guys. Well, I'm sorry, but it'll be okay. Why you have Okay, so the final one. It's that one. Okay. Honey, it's both of them. So. I know, I'm sorry, I almost invited you before I finished, but you can watch the replay, and, and this is the and I, final and I give me my final looks I, real quick before I go run and put the kids to bed, um, and probably terrify them for a little Go, please, shut the door. Thank you. Hi, bae. Um, you know what? No, it's not, because I totally forgot to put on my mascara. Shay, out of my room, too. We definitely go in villain. We're gonna have to have big lashes. Okay. Seamus Peter Scott, I already asked you once. Oh. Out of my room. Oh, guys, I thought I lost my mascara for a second. I need to fix up some of the white on this side. It's like hey. hold on two seconds. This was so big it Ow. And that is why parents have locks on their door, so that way they can lock their kids out when they're being annoying. Oh, yeah. Looking down into a mirror so I don't hit my lashes on the mascara that I put on. Or on the eyeshadow I put on, whatever I'm trying to say. The kids have disturbed my thoughts. I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, I did hit it. Dang it. I knew that was going to happen. I spent so much time on it. And then... Don't worry, wipe right off. Aw, oh, he's in the bath. I should probably give my kids a bath tomorrow night. Not tonight. That's a tomorrow problem. Dang it, you guys. We are struggling today. Luckily on this side it's all black, so if I accidentally hit it, it's not as much as a worry. Okay. I don't know which side I like more. I think I like the green side more just because the white is like just... Reminds me of how pale I am and how I'm close to that color already. Okay. Um, do not forget about... No, that's not what I want. Listen to me, Facebook. D-Zoom. No. Okay, never mind. It doesn't want to. Um, do not forget about the spooky deals going on until midnight. Um... 
if you love this live, share it with your friends so that they can enjoy the Maleficent look too. And tell me down below which one you like more, the old school or new Angelina Jolie. I feel like my lips need to be like four times bigger though. I don't know. I can't do Angelina Jolie, but this side was definitely fun. All right, guys. Um, if you have any other Halloween looks you would like to see, let me know. There's still plenty of time before Halloween. Have a great night, guys. Bye.